Amyloidosis is the term used to describe a group of diseases in which deposits of an abnormal protein called amyloid form in tissues and organs throughout the body. Proteins are important molecules involved in almost every structure and function within our cells. They are made up of chains of smaller units called amino acids, which fold themselves into three-dimensional structures. Folding allows the protein to work properly and interact with other molecules. In amyloidosis, proteins are made in the normal way, but when they are released from the cell, they open up again. These abnormally folded proteins collect together in long chains or fibrils. The deposits they form are called amyloid. Amyloid fibrils are difficult to break down, and as they accumulate, they start to cause damage. Eventually, the buildup of amyloid fibrils stops the affected tissue from working properly. AL amyloidosis is caused by a bone marrow disorder. The bone marrow produces blood cells including plasma cells, a type of white blood cell that forms part of the immune system. Plasma cells make antibodies to help fight infection. Each antibody is made up of four protein chains, two heavy chains and two light chains, which attach to each other to form the complete antibody. In AL amyloidosis, the abnormal protein that builds up and causes problems is the antibody light chain. Hence the name, AL amyloidosis. Instead of attaching to heavy chains, the abnormal light chains open up and bind to other abnormal light chains to form amyloid fibrils. These gradually build up over time. Amyloid light chain fibrils can occur almost anywhere in the body, but the organs most commonly affected include the kidneys, the heart, liver, spleen, nerves, and the digestive system. Treatment for AL amyloidosis involves chemotherapy, steroids, high-dose therapy, and stem cell transplant, and other drugs. Treatment is aimed at reducing the plasma cells to stop further amyloid light chains being made that would otherwise build up in tissues and organs. It also gives the body a chance to break down existing deposits naturally. However, on its own, this process can take many months or years. New treatments which break down the amyloid deposits more quickly are currently being tested in AL amyloidosis. The hope is that they can reduce symptoms and restore function quickly, and in doing so, improve quality of life for patients.